Today's tutorial comes from portsfigure.net and it's entitled Accessing Private GraphQL Posts. Let's open Burp Suite. You don't need the professional version for this lab, but I highly recommend it. It's not cheap, but think of it as investing in yourself. Plus, if I remember correctly, they give you one month free trial if you register with a work email. This video is clearly not sponsored, it's just something to think about. Go to the proxy tab and open a new browser. Go to the lab. We have to find the hidden blog post that contains a secret password. Browse through the website and then go back to Burp to see what requests the website made to the server. In the HTTP history tab, you can see we have a request to a GraphQL endpoint. This one apparently gets all of the blog posts. Right click in the request window and copy the URL. First, we are going to solve the lab with the help of GraphQL, a Chrome extension. Paste the URL we just copied from Burp and the extension will show what queries and mutations it supports. We have get blog posts, but it seems to be needing an ID variable and we don't know how those IDs are generated. We also have get all blog posts. Let's try to write a query to interrogate this operation. The syntax is as follows. So query, get all blog posts, and let's get the ID, title, and let's say author. You can click shift plus space to get recommendations. Now we can see that the blog IDs seem to be sequential numbers and we are missing number three. This is good because now we can query get blog posts and use one of the IDs as the ID variable needed by the query. Let's return the title and author of the first blog post. By the way, you can also see all of the fields available for a query listed on the left side. Is private and post password look promising, so let's add them to the query. As you can see, our blog title and author matches, so the query worked well. Let's now try the missing ID, number 3, and see if there's something there. And bingo! We found a hidden blog post that contains a hidden password. Copy the password and submit it to solve the lab. The second tool I'm going to show you today is one of Burp's extensions called InQL. Go to the Extensions tab, BAPP Store, search for InQL extension and install it. In the Installed tab, make sure that the extension is loaded. Now you should see an InQL Timer tab. This will get populated with GraphQL endpoints when you browse through a website. You might want to browse through the website again if nothing comes up. Now click on one of them and again copy the URL. In the NQL Scanner tab, paste the URL and click Enter. The extension will create a nice tree-like structure that contains the available operation endpoints. This time the query is written for us, so just right-click and send to repeater. The query is hard to read, but again we can go to the NQL tab and see a human-readable version of it. You can modify the request however you want and send it. Again, we of course see that we seem to be missing a post. Back in the NQL Scanner tab, let's also send the get blog post query to repeater. If we try sending the request, we get an error. It seems that the blog post does not exist. Change the ID to 1, then to 3, and again we find the hidden password. This is it for today. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Bye!